Okay, so what is the square root of 25? Most of you out there are probably laughing at this problem, saying, come on, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, give me a more challenging problem. Of course I know the answer. Well, you're going to be surprised that the answer is more than you think. Okay, when we're taking a square root of numbers, uh, it is a little bit more involved. Matter of fact, this is a highly confused area for uh, students, especially those of you out there that are studying algebra. But uh, if you know the answer to this question, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer here in just one second. Then I'm, I'm going to uh, fully explain uh, the importance of taking the square roots of numbers. Okay, again, this is an area where I think that, uh, uh, you know, textbooks don't do a good enough job. So if you follow this video through all the way to the end, this is going to really uh, save you a lot of pain and heartache. Uh, later on when you study a particular type of equations in algebra. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I have been teaching math for decades, and uh, it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need help with mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go and take a look at the answer. Very, very easy, correct? Right, the square root of 25, come on, this is so easy. And most of you probably answered with five. And if you did, that is the correct answer. Nice job. But some of you probably said the answer is both positive and negative five, okay? So you're saying this is the right answer, not this. So if some of you out there are saying, why aren't you saying both positive and negative five, you might have this kind of you know face like this. You're like, you're wrong, I'm right. Well, listen, again, this is a very confused area. And if you answered both positive and negative five, I'm not gonna be too tough on you. Matter of fact, I'm gonna give everybody who answered with five or positive and negative five a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars for having a basic understanding of square roots. Because those of you out there that um, answered with five, probably only 1% of you really understand why that is the correct answer. Okay, so let's get into this right now. So here we go, right? So we have the square root of 25, it's equal to positive five. Now, Let's just review real quick what the square root of a number uh, means, right? What does it mean to take the square root of a number? Well, what we're trying to do is find a number such that we, uh, this particular number, if we multiply it by itself, okay, so it's one number, we multiply it by itself and it gets us back to 25. All right, so is there such a number? Of course there is, right? So five times five gets us back to 25. Perfect, so five is indeed the square root of 25. But isn't negative five times negative five uh, also positive 25? Remember, a negative times a negative is a uh, positive. So negative five times negative five is also a uh, positive 25. So why is not uh, negative five part of the answer here? Well, that is a great question, right? And a very confusing question. So let me go ahead and answer this right now. So if you can remember what I'm gonna be telling you here, this is gonna save you a lot of pain and heartache uh, later on again in algebra. All right, so the reason why uh, the answer here is only positive is because of something called the principal square root, the principal square root. So uh, in most math textbooks, and I've been teaching this stuff for decades, I have a collection of a huge amount of math books. And uh, when I you know, kind of go through these uh, various math books, I'm talking like algebra books and whatnot, this is mentioned to some degree. Oftentimes it's um, uh, kind of in the fine print per se, and it's not emphasized enough. Right? This is an important point. But anyways, anytime you are taking the square root of a number, like the square root of 25, all we want to do is answer that question with the positive version of that, right? That's what we call the principal square root, all right? So, for example, if you had this question, hey, what's the square root of 4? The correct answer is 2, not negative 2, right? But some of you are still confused, like why is not the negative, um, for, or what are, where do we use the negative version of this question, like positive and negative? Because certainly most of you probably have seen you know, um, you know, positive and negative answers to square roots. Well, there is a place for that, okay? And I'm about to show you that right now. But just remember, 
if you're asked to find the square root of a number like so, only answer with the positive version. That's the principal square root. Okay, so um, now let's move on to uh, see where we do use this positive and negative stuff. So let's uh, create a nice, lovely algebra equation. So let's let x represent a number. Okay, so some number times itself. So x times x gets us back to 25. Okay, well, let's think about this. Some number times itself gets us back to 25. Well, isn't it 5? 5 times 5 gets us back to 25? Well, indeed it is, but let's just follow the algebra here. So x times x, we can write that in algebra as x squared. Okay, so x squared is equal to 25. Now, at this stage of uh, what I'm doing here, we just form something called a quadratic equation. Quadratic equation. And uh, if you're taking any sort of algebra course, especially like Algebra 1, you will solve a ton of these, okay? Now, uh, namely, what you need to recognize that is this is what we call a polynomial. And this little 2 up here is an exponent, but it indicates that we're going to have two solutions to this equation. There's always two solutions to a quadratic equation. So you got to recognize what type of equation we're dealing with. Again, this is qu a quadratic equation. So to solve this quadratic equation, what we're going to do is simply take the square root of both sides because we're looking to solve for x. So the square root of x squared is going to just be equal to x. Okay, the square root of x squared is equal to x. And the square root of 25 here now is going to be positive and negative 5. Okay. So this is where we want to use both this positive and negative because there is two solutions to this equation. One of the solutions is a positive 5. The other is a negative 5. So when do you use the positive and negative version of a square root like here is when you are solving equations like quadratic equations or polynomial equations. Then you do use the positive and negative version of that square root. Okay, I know this is confusing, and probably you, a lot of you probably didn't even think about this. You're like, wow, that's interesting. Well, uh, indeed it is. Now, I'm going to cover another type of equation, but before we do, I want to ask uh, those of you out there that uh, have not uh, subscribed to my channel to consider subscribing. At the time of this video, uh, I've been working really hard for a good 10 plus years on my YouTube channel. I love YouTube. It's a great platform for me to teach and reach as many people as I possibly can. But at uh, this time, I get a good million plus views per month, which is awesome on YouTube. And I try to teach from basic math to advanced math. But uh, in terms of the percentage of people that watch my uh, videos, in terms of subscribing to my channel, I would hope mo uh, more of you would consider subscribing. So if you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing and also hit that notification button as well. Thank you so much for that little tiny commercial break. Let's continue on. All right, so here is another type of equation, right? So now we've uh, looked at a quadratic equation, something like x squared is equal to 25, and we just saw that x is going to be equal to both positive and negative 5. But what about this type of equation? This is a square root equa uh, equation, what we call a radical equation. So we're asking here, the square root of what number, the square root of what number x is 5? Well, we just answered that question, right? Isn't the square root of 25 5? Well, indeed it is. So how do we solve this type of equation? Well, what we need to do is square both sides. Okay, now this is just a quick uh, review of a lot of things that you need to understand in algebra, like quadratic equations, radical equations. If you need help, with anything algebra, uh, I'll leave direct links to my, all my various uh, main courses in the description as well. Also, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel. But to solve this type of equation, all we need to do is square both sides. So the square uh, the square of the square root of x is x, and 5 squared is 5 times 5 is 25. So the answer here is x is equal to 25. That is the solution to this equation right here, okay? So x is equal to 25. All right, interesting, right? So you're like, all right, no, I understand. Well, this is where I'm gonna make the distinction, uh, this, uh, the, the distinction, excuse me, of that principal square root. So let's check this solution, okay? We're saying the answer is 25. So if I replace this x with a 25, 
Let's see if in fact we got the right answer. Okay, so how do you do this in algebra? Well, anytime you want to check a solution, just replace the variable uh, with that uh, particular solution. And then you want to simplify and see if the left-hand side of the equation equals the right-hand side. So here, the square root of 25 we learned, right, is the principal square root. We're asking, what is the square root of 25? We're only going to use the positive version, so that's going to be positive 5. The square root of 25 is only positive 5. And the right-hand side of the equation is a positive 5. So positive 5 is equal to positive 5. This is a true statement, meaning that x is equal to 25 is a good solution. Now, here is where so much confusion comes into uh, play. Uh, in uh, algebra for a lot of students, okay? And it's really not their fault, in my opinion, because this is not uh, taught well enough. So let's, um, let's take the square root of 25, and let's suppose you answered this question, you know, initially, oh, this is gonna be equal to both positive and negative five. Well, if that's the case, if the square root of 25 is both positive five and negative five, I would have what? Well, I would have negative five, is that equal to this positive five? Okay, is negative 5 equal to this positive 5? The answer is no. Okay, so negative 5 is not uh, a solution to this, uh, you know, to this particular equation. Okay, or 25 would not be because uh, this negative 5, right? Because we got a negative 5 here. If we're saying that the square root of 25 is both positive and, in other words, not or, uh, you know, and negative uh, five, then this gets very confusing because students are like, well, negative five is not equal to negative five. So what's going on? Well, anytime you are checking solutions in square root equations, you only um, uh, use that positive uh, version of that number, the principal square root. And this is something what we call uh, extraneous solutions, but it is tremendously confusing for a lot of students. And it's really, again, in my opinion, not their fault. I don't think it's uh, really emphasized um, as well as it could possibly uh, be. But hopefully you watched this entire video. Of course, if you're listening to this, uh, indeed you did. Uh, and hopefully got a lot out of this, right? You know, taking a square root of a number. Again, the answer is more than you think. But I could tell you right now, most of you are going to uh, know 99.9% .9 more than your counterparts. So great job. And uh, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.